See where love has landed you, Mama. Don't mama me. Don't mama me, Joma. I beg you not to go and live with a man who has not paid your price, bride price. Did you listen? Now, he has used you and sent you back to me like a piece of used rag. Mama, this is not fair. Hey, hey, don't uh, remind me that I'm your mother. Hey, Joma. When I was of your age, I was already married. I was no longer in my mother's house, begging for food from his, from her arms. Ijoma, if you are hungry, go out. Go and look for food. Not Who is doing this to me? Did they get this power that is challenging me, even to my soul? Chupu mm. Katibia. Where did they get this power? Hey. Hey. Where you startled me? Where are you coming from? Coming from where I have gone to take care of a situation. Just turn and go back. I beg your pardon? You know where I'm going to write? And that is why I'm asking you to turn back and go home. And never to return to that central junction for whatsoever reason. Leave the merchant of death to face their death. Oh, are you saying my life has been threatened? If you had gotten to that junction before me, with the zeal I see in your eyes, 
you will have repeated the same things you've been doing. You will have been a dead man. What? Yes. That is why you should never go close to that central junction again. The fight is no longer yours, but mine. Obwefi, well, you do know I'm not going to let this slide, right? I'll heed your advice. But I can't wait to hit him where it hurts the most. The totality of the saw masquerade radiates in your eyes. I hope you will keep it cool. Once, what are you doing in my house? You tried the first time and failed woefully. Are you so desperate you had to try again? If you have anything to say, say it to my face, man to man. Well, I absolutely have nothing to say. Odema, since you have nothing to say, you have to listen to what I have to say. I equally do not want to listen to you. The total... Kai, Bieba! I said, give Bieba one came on that banana. The total calculated bill is 200,000 Naira. What is that supposed to mean? Are you mistaking me for your banker? That is your fine for polluting our land with those pots of charm. Once I do not understand. First you destroy my properties, and now you want me to pay for them. The money will be used to banish all the demons you imported into our space, and to cleanse this land of your charms. Oh, that sounds very good. Now I understand. Well, I am going to pay the money, but you have to be dead first. Yes. I have actually brought war to you. Once, you have no fear. First, you came into my house, and now you are waging war against Alusi of Baludi. <laughs> You are nothing and you will do nothing. If you do not pay that fine, I will perforate you. You don't pay that money, careful. Why are you fighting? What's that? Why are you fighting your people? People called me because in human form, no doubt. People think Kayama is deadly as the cobra's neck. Wakam, there is no doubt about it. They said I can create thunder and the lightning without lifting a spear. 
That is also the truth. Today. Today. I am here to prove it all. Here he comes, the one gifted by the gods, what has allowed fools to mislead him. I have been waiting. Now listen, you old wizard. I don't want to know where you are coming from or even what you are up to. Listen, beware, beware. I am here to do what I am engaged to. So, mind your business and don't get involved in what We're I am doing. standing here and waiting for your course arrival. I am doing my business. Fair me with that nonsense. Ah, I am Chuku Kalibia. I fear no evil. Listen, what is your business here? Be careful. Be careful. Chuku Kadibia. Chuku Kadibia. <laughs> Look, you have allowed people to mislead you. And yet, you claim to be a Tibia. You are nothing, nothing but a useless, unsettled man. Spare me with that nonsense, I don't care. Do you know where I am coming from? Listen, you can call me an evil, I don't bloody care. Call me whatever you like. Aha! My babe! my baby. My baby is usually here. My baby! My baby! Mama! 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 Who has seen my baby? I wanted to go out with my baby and I can't find my baby anywhere. Baby? Yes, my baby! My horse! I see, that's why I see you have, you have gone insane. Your baby, your horse. It is my baby! What are you talking about? Well, when they came here earlier this morning and took it away, he said you're owing the youths of this kingdom. And your baby, like you call it, will be used to offset your bill. I'm about to have a heart attack. Mama, I thought you were my mother. You were supposed to protect me! You were supposed to protect me! Protect my baby! Now you left! What? I'm going to kill that boy.
me! There you are! You bastard! Where is my baby? You see your life. I asked you to pay 200,000 Naira as fine for polluting the whole kingdom with your charms. You refused. Anyways, I have given your horse to my boys to sell. What? Mwanza! How can you give my horse to the youths to sell? Where is my horse? Bring my horse now, else! Else what? You will kill me again like you attempted. Listen, no. I thought by this time you begin to reason like a human being and mind the things you say. Okay. Fine. Where is my horse? I will give you the 200,000 naira. Too late. What do you mean by that? It has already been sold. Sold what? Your horse has been sold. Honest him sold what? As if you were not the one I, I, I thought to pay 200,000 a joke. Now you are looking for it. Listen, let me tell you. We have sold your horse for 350,000 Naira. 200,000 belongs to the youth of the community. This is your balance of 150,000. What? Wait, 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 wait! My baby! You sold my baby for 350,000 Naira. And now you are giving me change. Mm -hmm. One day, I will kill you. I'll be back. Let me go give you this man for me. I will be back. Then why will you sell my baby? Why? For what? How can a poor government be calling a horse his baby? All right, Alan, how is this man? Yeah, come and take part of this is part of your baby. Come and take it, though. Onya bukwezi bo onya la. My baby, my baby. How can you, my man, call a, a horse his baby? Come and take part of your baby. No, come part of your baby, can't you? Like, uh. Come and take part of your. Hello? Look, stop calling me. Stop it, I don't like it. This is not love, it's obsession. Look, you have to move on already. You are a man. Are you trying to tell me there are not beautiful girls out there? Don't you have eyes to see them? Stop it, please. You're disturbing my life. I don't like it. Please, stop. Mama. Hello? She's lying. All she's telling you is a lie. She's not happy here. In fact, she's suffering. Mama. Don't, don't know me. In fact, you, you don't know me. But I'm the mother of the stupid boy she's dating. They've turned her into a punching bag. And from the way you're talking, I can see you really love her. And I think you can take care of her. Very good care of her. Please, come and take her away from here. Mama! Don't listen to whatever she's saying. Mama, this is not fair now. You are working for them, right? You have been working for them. That is why nothing has worked out. This has always been a game to you and I have been a pawn. You are not saying anything. Now the truth has come out. You have suddenly gone dumb. Isn't it? It is a terrible thing for one to limp before he goes. It is even more dangerous when the man doing the limping is a powerful man like you. Wefi, are you insulting me? Hmm? On the contrary, I respect you. That is why I did not attempt to kill you yesterday when I broke your pot of charms. <laughs> so, you are the one? Mm. So it was you? Yes. Now, what do you want here? Are you threatening me? No. Chukwukadibe. 
I am not threatening you. I only warn people once. Then I go ahead and do what I want to do. Obefi, you are not making sense and you know it. Don't dare me. What? If you do that, Chuku Kadibia, then you must have made the biggest mistake of your life. Obefi Oponna, I respect you just as you respect me. But today, you are trying my patience. Go home, for this is not the kind of fight you want to get yourself involved. Still, you are trying my patience. It is dangerous for a man to limp. Before he looks, Chukuka Dibia, go home with your pot of charms and do the right thing. Now, listen. It is very, very dangerous for a man as powerful as I am to first of all live before he looks. That was exactly the mistake I made with you. I first of all live before looking. And now that I have finally taken that leap, I regret the very day I met with you. What? Take that and get out of my business before I set you up here. What is happening here? Do I need to repeat myself? I doubt that. What? Now listen. I didn't become the man that I am today by standing my hands. I am Chupu Kadibia. For you have insulted me much. And I don't think that I will ask you again to leave. First you scam me of my money. And now you are asking me to leave your house. Get out of my house. I will leave. But this isn't over. Yes, now. This is madness you, you want me to shut it the down of the girls Pick it and leave my picture. Why are you fighting? Why are you fighting? I will leave. But well, like I said, I will be back. Get out of my car. Why are you fighting in your shadows? It is not far too late. For men to turn a new leaf. God damn it! Man, 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 Hey, Okalak. Hey. Ah! You finish. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Obuefi. Obuefi. Prodigal sons of Ugume Kingdom, are you really back with us? Or are you even now still hiding behind your mother's wrappers? Obuefi. Please, don't insult us. That you are the chief priest of this kingdom does not give you the power to do that. So please, don't. Um, we are simply here 
Because this madness has gone on long enough. Bam! That is true. Exactly. You say that the gods have made their choice. When we asked you to reveal the person, you said that the time was not ripe for that. So we decided to keep our cool and wait. Then one madman started terrorizing the entire kingdom and everyone in it for a chieftaincy title. We even expected that to push you into telling us who that one man is. But he didn't. It didn't. With your corner. You did you decided to do or say nothing while Vincent changed his name to Obaludikegu and started terrorizing every single elder he could find. We left the council for we feared for our lives. And now, why are you back? Obwefi, we are back because Ugume Kingdom has gone on too long without a king. We want to put a stop to this. It's very ugly. Unheard of. So you think that we are not idiots, Obwefi. We know that we need an Oba to be able to crown a king. So we are here to demand that either you choose Oba Ludikegu mm. as the Oba, mm. or you give the title to someone else. Uh -uh. Because a kingdom without a king is nothing but a vast piece of land. And that is just the truth. Oh, of course, you know that. In other words, both of you want me to go ahead of the gods and do your biddings, right? We are simply asking you to do something urgently and savage the land. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I have not done anything wrong. The Onowu is doing well as the acting king. The best thing for you to do is to help the Onowu by putting in your own very best as it is. Do you know that it is a sin before Chukwokike for Full grown Ugume men to be cowards. Yeah, are you yeah. are you calling uh, us cowards? Uh, 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 so you call us cowards? Imagine. Really? Actually, foolish is the best words to describe both of you. Can you find your way? In out of my compound right now, or do I need to blow you away? <clears throat> Women parading themselves as titled men of Ogume. Come, 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 come. Yes, one Here. This is 200,000 Naira. Complete money. Give me back my baby. Take. Oh boy, it's too late. I told you 
Your baby has been sold already. Didn't you get that from our last discussion? Oh, yes! You told me that. This is a simple arithmetic. 200,000 plus the 150,000 remaining from the money you sold. The other time, you still have it. Take them together. It is 350,000 naira. Give it back to whosoever you sold my horse to and get my baby back for me. Please, take. This is the money. It is not possible. What do you mean it's not possible? Your baby is no longer in this village. What? What are you talking about? Accept my condolence. Mwanza! I should accept your condolence mm -hmm. when I'm talking about my baby. Mwanza! I promise you I will kill everybody involved with this. I will kill all the youths of this village because of you, Mwanza. I will wipe everybody out. Again? I promise you that. How dare you? Wait a minute to answer. Uh, okay, maybe you should give me the house address of whosoever you sold the horse to. <laughs> I will go there and collect my horse back. My way is a long journey. That horse, it was sold by my boys to somebody. Who took it further down and sold to someone else? And that person sold it to another person. And that person took it to another village and sold it to a woman. Hey! Yes! Mwanza! Yes, the woman took it to the market, tried to sell it for some people. They bought it, wanted to use for sacrifice. It wasn't working. They gave it to another man who took it to another village and sold it. Now the baby is having running stomach. They said they don't know what to do. My baby! For sacrifice! Mwanza! My baby for suya! My baby! My baby! My baby! Allah, 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 baby, like you, this man. I'll tell you I am a warlord and only an idiot tries to face a warlord. Every day chap, every day chap. Today he will drop chap. Tomorrow we will we come to another new one and drop. Why should he be polluting the entire kingdom with his pot of charms? Why? Hm. I thank God for one's intended. I am telling you. I'm telling you. For the fact I enjoy his money. Yeah. He is automatically crazy. Not only crazy, he is mad. On Ayala. But my question is. Uh, not only crazy, he is mad. On a yala. But my question is, uh, if Obefio Kuna refuses to crown or baludike with the next Oba, yeah. who then would be the Oba of Ugume Kingdom? You see? Hmm? You see? The, the whole thing is getting out of hand. <laughs> see, if I knew the answer, hmm, I would have gone to him and looked for a way to swindle out money for myself. Hi, my goodness. Lack of money is a big disease. For the thing God created money just to punish human beings. Hi! My baby. My baby. My baby. Ha. My baby. Ha. Have any... Have any of you old men seen my baby? My hopes, of course. The only thing that makes me stand out in Ugume Kingdom. Have you seen it? Abadike, you are confusing us the more. You are always with a horse. <laughs> you two are very useless. I will go find my horse. I swear I will kill everyone in this village if I do not find my horse. It is more important to me than you, Moro. Don't, don't you see now that he's a madman? How can a man of Ugume Kingdom Call a horse his baby. I want to be named the next sober kingdom. Who will crown the next king? You see? A madman can never rule us. Eba he come to. Let me see that woman. That woman I told you. You are like a daughter to me. 
I will always tell you the truth. Mama, even if he gives me the world at his fingertip, I will still not leave my mark for him. I will not do it. I'm not that kind of girl. I know. I sincerely wish you would be my daughter-in-law. But my son does not deserve a woman like you. Mama, I know Vincent has his excesses. But I love him and that's enough for me. Love is enough when it's mutual. Mama, what are you saying? You know exactly what I'm saying. That's not the truth and you know it, Mama. Says a woman who has shut her eyes from the truth. Despite the fact that the truth is staring at her in the face. What is wrong with you? Why are you doing this to yourself? Why? This is what you always wanted, right? No, this is what you always wanted. You called yourself my mother. Yet you watched them take my baby away from me. I'm going to kill her. married to that woman, so she has no business in my house. If you ever dare bring her back to this house, you and I know what I'm capable of. I will kill her! Wednesday. Mm. You see, he may eventually want to kill somebody because of that horse. Hey! Eh? Hey! Eh? That will give us enough reason to jail him forever. Already he has destroyed himself by going to challenge the priest of the land. We will not glorify him with a meeting. Don't worry your life. It's not as if we're discussing him. We're only strategizing on what to do in case, since we know he's a madman. He might. He might go violent. That's my own. I will not say anything until the time comes. Enjoy your drink. Manze, the drink is not the problem. I know, I know why I'm sounding like this. So. There's nothing to sound like. I don't know why I'm sounding like this. Drink! Hi. <clears throat> Thank you, Wifi. <clears throat> Hmm. Um, did the gods choose me to become the next Oba of Ugume Kingdom? Where is that coming from? Yes or no? No. You are definitely not the Oba of Ugume Kingdom. Are you telling me the truth? Yes. Look, you might be all kind of great things, but you are definitely not the Oba. Of Ugume. Exactly! This is exactly what I'm talking about. What then do you mean I can be all kinds of great things? Why do I have this feeling you walk off from the wrong side of the bed? That's not the situation, Obwefi. I have this feeling you and my father are hiding something from me. But what I don't understand is why you are both bent on sitting on that secret even when all things are falling apart. If I am not the next Toba, and Vincent is not the next Toba, then who is? Go home, son. Mind your business. How you feel?
you find yourself in a compound that isn't yours. Find someone who's actually keeping the place tidy, and then you demand the person's identity. Something is actually wrong with your general orientation. I beg your pardon. Have you managed to understand your mistakes, or we should make this a proper class? <laughs> what the hell is going on here? I should be the one asking you that. Who are you? Is this your house? No, madam. Then who are you? And what do you want? <laughs> Where is Ibezim? Ibezim! Ibezim! Hey! Lower your voice! Ibezim, where are you? Can you imagine the way you're shouting his name? Who are you? Who is she? Sweetheart. Hmm? This is Obiageli. A woman I used to know. Oh. What? Used to? Apunawu. Baby. Obegeli, this is Apunawu. The lady after my heart. <laughs> Wait. You. What he's trying to say is that I am his fiance. We're getting married very soon. <laughs> You know, you can't do this to me, right? Yeah, finally I found a woman who's ready to marry me. Very ready. Yes. Get out of here, Where are you going with that plate? I'm hungry. I want to get food. So? How does that concern you? You job and you're not ashamed of yourself. See where love has landed you, Mama. Mama. Don't mama me. Don't mama me, Joma. I beg you not to go and live with a man who has not paid your price, bride price. Did you listen? Now, nah, he has used you and sent you back to me like a piece of used rag. Mama, this is not fair. Hey, hey don't uh, remind me that I'm your mother. Hey, Joanna. When I was of your age, I was already married. I was no longer in my mother's house, begging for food from, his, from her arms. Hey, Joanna, if you are hungry, Go out. Go and look for food. Not in my kitchen. Mama, I'm your child. Mm -hmm. This, this thing you're doing to me is no, it's not fair. And I regret that you are my child every day. I regret it, you. Come on, get out. Go away. L looking for food to eat every time. Come and eat. You don't want to come and eat food. Hey, Chie, I'm, I'm surprised you say you know nothing about this. Look, you have forgotten I've washed my hand of this case a long time ago. I don't understand this question you are asking me and I don't have an answer for it. Ichie, of all the members of the elders in council, you were the only one who supported my father against that fool who calls himself Obaludike Guto and still fearing people. There must be a reason for that. Point of correction. I do not support anybody in this issue. But that was because he later threatened your daughter. Great. We're on the same page now. Tell me the truth, please. If I had the slightest idea of who the next Oba of this kingdom is, I wouldn't be here hiding and praying that Vincent will completely forget my daughter exists. What? He said that to you? He actually said many things. And I'm sure he will still be moving around collecting more information. You know, the young man actually confronted me, but I did not say anything to him. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I didn't say anything to him. I really don't know how to explain this to him. Why are the gods delaying the, this process? You know, I, I, is, is it that they are waiting for the purchase of the people to weigh off before they will do, do something? Um, my friend, you know I don't always interfere with the gods because I know that the gods are wise. Yes, I know. I, I agree with you that they are wise. But uh, we are dealing with a young man who may most likely make a very ter terrible mistake if you fail to call him to order. Mm -mm. He won't. He won't? Why would you say that? Uh, I don't know. But all I know and can say now is that very soon this thing will be in the past.
Hello. You are in Ugume now? Unfortunately, she has gone back to her father's house. Okay, bye. Why do I suddenly feel I met that man somewhere before? It's so annoying and frustrating. Can we do anything about it? Of course we can. We can. The man had the guts to call us fools and cowards. I don't blame him. I just hope that this kingdom and everything in it fall apart. That is my wish, Ichi. That way, we feel corner we answer to everyone. And that useless secret of his will finally be exposed. Exactly. But I can't help but wonder. I can't help but wonder. Me too, my friend. Seeing the Onowu today confirmed my worst fears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is that everyone is getting tired of the suspense. Nonsense! And the future of this kingdom becoming something of doubt. Is it just me? Or does that young man passing by us seem familiar? Yes. Something about his face. Yes. Whose son is he? I don't think he is from this kingdom. You know, I don't even see his face. I don't understand. How I found you. Your ex-mother-in-law called. The mother of the tyrant that kicked you out of his life without knowing your value. I can't believe this. Apparently, I think she stole my number from your phone. Turns out that Apple can still fall far from the tree. She's nothing like her son. She violated my privacy. I think that was another thing. 
The woman loves you like a daughter. That's why she called me. So why didn't you tell me that Vincent was the new man in your life? It seems you know him very well. Baby, don't look too well to me. What's going on with you? Please tell me about it. You're not supposed to be here. My love, I'm, I'm here to stay. Unless you're coming home with me. I don't want to go home with you. Since the woman who decorated my bed and my living room herself. And I regret that every minute of the day. I'm sorry, my love. I know that I hurt you so much. I know I don't deserve you, but give me a second chance. I'm deeply sorry. I'm so sorry. Please. You should go home. My love, please. I'm sorry. Mama. Uh, Who are you? Mama, greetings. Uh, sorry, ma, I, I didn't see you come. Sorry. Uh, greetings, Mama. Who are you? Mama, I'm... And you know what? I don't care one way or the other. Are you here to marry her? Because that is the only way I will consider her a human being again. Mama. Shut your trap. Young man. Listen. You look, you look uh, as if you come from the, from the city. So, if you so dare that I see you take my daughter close to anywhere around this kingdom without her bride prize lying in my hands, I will find you and I will kill you. I don't understand, Mama. If you won't give me food, why do you still want me in your house? Wait. Is she talking to of you? Of course I'm talking to you. Please. Look at her. Look at her. Then gang. Get... Oh, I'm like no na. Please. Oh, I'm like I want to kill her. Mama, you oh can't my do god. That, please. She's your daughter. My daughter. I know she's my daughter and that is why I have not killed her yet. If you have allowed me, I would have killed her. <laughs> Honestly, it's you, Aranyele. I don't even know what to say. You see, he accused me of a lot of things I don't understand. Eh? Please make me understand. What is happening? You really feel I know something? Something I don't know about. Please make me understand. Tell me. Listen to me. You, this is very wrong. You don't have to go now. Who are you to tell me what is and what is not a good idea? I am not just a woman. I am Apple now, and you should listen to me. I am not going to listen to you. Please, don't go. Please. I'll be right back. Really? What are you doing here? Please leave my house. Obiageli, I simply came to grant you the courtesy. As a woman, I used to consider my own. Courtesy? Yes, courtesy. Sorry, I didn't tell you that I was planning to settle down. Even though you turned down my offer, of making you my wife, as I thought it wise to let you down. Now I know. 
You can leave. Obiageli, you don't have to be rude. Let me ask, why were you at my house today? None of your concern now. Ibezim, leave my house. I will leave. Just take care of yourself. Just get out. You know you are a bastard, right? <laughs> I know. No, you know you are a bastard. This ah! ain't the Obaludi Kegu, the chief terrorist of Ugume Kingdom. Are you actually working on foot? Once, I am going to kill you. I am going to kill you once. Ah! You, you are killing me, Dr. Miko. <laughs> You see that masquerade mm. that you went to bring back to life to protect you yeah. so you can insult your chief, not me. I am going to destroy it and kill you slowly. <laughs> I promise you this once. I will burn it and kill you slowly <laughs> once. <laughs> Where's your baby? Get one of your baby. Once I am going to kill you. I assure you that I will kill you. You have been telling me that. Hey! Why are you fighting? Why are you fighting? Ichi is your quasanya of Ugume. I greet you. Where are you coming from? If I give you the answer you need, will you give me the answer I need? I beg your pardon? <laughs> Not as much. What's that? Still know he needs to have a wife. He does that now. And mama. Mama Listiki, please now. If this is the trick you want to use to get me to like you, it will not work. It won't work. Lie, lie. Mama, <laughs> I'm your son, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Mama! Is it not always the lie? You finish enjoying my daughter now, you will return her back to me like a piece of used rug. Rag. Uh, Mama, would you respect? I will not have anyone call my woman a rag. I'm sorry. Please. Eh? Tell me something I've not heard. <sighs> Mama, I love your daughter. I know Vincent must have said the same thing. But I don't care. If you like, take me anywhere. I will swear to that. Are yeah, you not the young man she dated last before coming to this village? Yes, Mama. So you are the one that messed my daughter up? Mama, how could you say a thing like that? You know what I'm saying? Did you the right? Hey! You got tired of eating onubu soup. Then you 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 want to combine it with okra and the gusi. Hey! 
Mama, you are missing the point. Look me, look me, look at me, look my face and deny that what I'm saying is not the truth. Mama, I did not cheat on her. You did. Because cheating is the basic for a relationship to be broken. Mama, you're getting everything wrong. I did not cheat on your daughter. If you did not cheat on her, then you were beating her. You were beating my child in the city. And that is worse. Mama, you're getting everything wrong. Mama, I did not. I can't even see myself beating a woman. Then why did you break up? Can you hear Mama? Mama. Mama. I've been wearing your ring for almost two years now. What is going on? You don't longer find me attractive. You're not into me anymore. Look, if you don't want this relationship, just Enough! Tell me. Enough! Why don't you let this be? I won't. Because each time we fix a date to see my family, you always disappoint me and I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I have apologized countless times. And I said I'm sorry. You know I had an emergency. What was I supposed to do? Why are you lying to me? We both know you didn't have any emergency because I called. You, you, you did what? You called my office? Yes. And I was told you took a day off. Are, are you serious? <laughs> now I know that you don't trust me. Oh, please, don't even try to turn the table around, Ogo. If you don't want this relationship, say it! Because I will not sit I here- I cannot marry a woman from Ukuma Kingdom, and that is it! What did you just say? Over my dead body will I marry from that place! Ugo. We've been together for almost five years. Why are you telling me this now? Why didn't you tell me this all this while? So, so what am I doing with your ring? See, I, I know. I know we've been together for so long. That, that's why I find it so difficult proposing to you. Okay, and then you proposed? So, so, so why did you propose in the first place? Why are you declining now? I love you. I love you, but I can't. I can't. Do, I can't marry you. Just like that. Just like that, Ogo. See, I can give you everything life can offer. I can. I can give you everything, but you see, marriage is out of it. Is is way out of it. Ogo. Do you have a problem with women from Ugume Kingdom? Answer me. That question is personal. I can answer it. Personal? Too personal for me? After everything? Ugo! I love you, but I cannot kill for you. I won't. I'm sorry. Sorry. Kill. You can't kill. And that was it, Mama. The next morning she was gone. The engagement ring I gave to her, I found it on my table. And now, why are you back? Since you clearly have problem with the Gume women, what are you still doing with my daughter? In fact, what are you doing in my house? Mama, firstly, I love your daughter very much. That's the first answer to your question. And the second answer to your question. I don't have any problem with Tugume women. 
Okay. You don't have any problem with the Ngome women. Then why did you not want to marry my daughter? Because I never want to step my leg into this village again. What? I mean... I love you, daughter, and, and, and that's it. Um, and I bet you would draw her from when I was coming to this place. I, I want you to hold this for a while. Are from you trying to bribe me? No, Mama, I'm trying to play a role of your son-in-law. That's what I'm doing. I'm not bribing you, Mama. You are mysterious. I wonder. I am still finding it difficult to know if you love my daughter or not. I love your daughter and, and that's the truth and God knows. And that's the best answer I can give you for now. I really do not have anything to tell you. Or you have, but you don't want to share. <laughs> um, the last time you came here, Ichi, you were afraid of your daughter's life. And you told me point blank that you are in full support of Obaludike's desire to become the next Oba. Has that changed? My feelings does not have anything to do with why I'm here. And you want me to trust you? I want you to give me answers that I have right to. And answers that the whole citizens of Ugume Kingdom have right to. And I would. If those answers really exist, it's your Anilo. Go home and leave matters that belong to the gods, for the gods alone. <laughs> Did you come here to insult me? No, not at all. Well, I can't help but wonder. Thank you for bringing my things. You may leave now. You're welcome. And yes, I'm leaving. A lot more younger, sexier than he is, finds him attractive. He's so delicious. Do you know that? You are tempting me. Don't worry. You are pushing me. Don't worry. And don't go further. I'm leaving already. <laughs> it took just one night. Do you know? Just one night. I mean, one night with Chief Ibezim, and I already know that he was the man for me. <laughs> you just confirmed my suspicion. About what? That you were cheap slot. <laughs> cheap slot? Yet. I'm getting married to your man. And you're invited. Just get out. It would be nice to have you, baby. <laughs> Slut, that's what you are. Oh my God. <laughs> Nonsense. Rubbish.
Are you going out? What do you think? Where to? Where to? Uh, so we only get to talk now, just when you are curious to know of my agenda for the day. Wednesday, it is not working with me. Uncle? Mother money was way too extreme. Look, I need my time alone. I want to be left alone. Please. Ugo, stop following me. I want to be left alone. Don't you get it? What is wrong with you? No, tell me, what is wrong with you? You said it with your mouth that you don't want to marry any woman from Ugume Kingdom. Now you're stalking one. Even when I said that, I didn't believe it in my heart. IG, I'm sorry. I know you're angry with me. You have every right to be angry with me. But know it today that anywhere you go, I go. What? You're a madman. You know that, right? Exactly. Because everybody working on this earth that is in love is insane. Abu Moisi Botonyala, right now. My God. Iche, are you alright? It cannot just be. This can be true. It can be. Thank you. We need to leave this village right now, please. Please, let's go. We need to leave this village, please. Oh, what now? Oh, where's your one now? Oh, where's it? I beg your pardon. Oh, where's your I have seen a ghost as I was walking around the, the road. I just a ghost. Can you calm down? Yeah, it's not, no, no, it's not. A ghost. There's a ghost that is walking. He did. There is a ghost. It's a ghost. It's here, Sonia. I hope this is not the beginning of my race. I'm going to go. Yeah. No, I just came in. I'm waiting for his call. <laughs> yes. I'll have to come. Where is it? Wait, 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 where is it? Iche! Where is it? Iche, what is the problem? Where is it? Where is it? What is going on? Iche, what? What? Where is it? Iche, what is what? Where is what? What is the problem, Iche? What are you looking for? Tell me, I might help you. I told you that I have proof. Look at it. This is my proof. I saw him. You saw him? Yes, I saw him. Today. Then, that is what we all believe that he is dead. But I saw him today. Other judge on that day. You, I'm telling you. Stop looking at me as if I'm crazy. I know what I am saying. I saw him today. You can come with me. Let me show you the junction where I saw him. Let me show you where I saw him. Why, why, why are you doing this? No, why do you find it so difficult to believe, believe me? I know what I am saying. I know, I know what I am saying. So then you just popped him. That they were no longer there does not mean that I, I don't know what I am saying. They were standing there, I saw them. Ah, Sonia, this man is dead. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Oh. They're looking at me work for you. What is going on? What did you take from my house? Your late husband's picture. Huh? <laughs> Look at it. This is what I took from your husband's house. I took it because I saw him. I saw him and I came to take the picture. I saw him standing at that junction with uh, Ijoma. Uh, Isn't that his daughter? The one that dated uh, your son. I saw them standing 
At that junction, down there. You so your with my husband. Yes. How is that even possible? No, oh, 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 wait, can you please stop misleading this woman? I know what I am saying that I saw this man. I saw, you know what? Can we go to Joma's house? Irresponsible, we will see them there. Can we go to Joma's house and baby, you can see them there? Go to Joma's house. Big coconut yo. Can we? <laughs> Have I not been vindicated? I want to know your homeland, as in, where are you from? Ugo, this is the priest of Ugume Kingdom. You cannot ignore him. You are not saying anything, son. I didn't give birth to more than one child. Otherwise, I would have said you're my son. So please tell us, who are you? Uh, listen, sir, it is not as if we are interrogating you. We are not. We are asking you these questions because uh, we want you to help us solve a problem. Where are you from? See, uh, if you must know, I'm from Osaka in Enugu State. Are you satisfied? Really? That, that's where he's from. Osaka. You think you know him well? Probably not as much as you think. Nay, what are you talking about? He's from Osaka. I know him very well. Oh. You forget. You are speaking to the priests who ministers on the staff of our ancestors. On the same land, you are breathing their air. I will ask you once again, where are you from? Ugo, tell him the name of the village. Tell them, your family members, just prove to them that you are from Musuka. It will solve the problem. You're not saying anything. See, I'm out of here. Cross this line if you can, and we will allow you go anywhere you choose. What nonsense! What nonsense! I said it. I said it that this man is not good for my daughter. Why do you always go for the wrong kind of man? I don't die because. What is wrong? Enough, with you? woman. What kind of dirty game are you men playing with me? I don't know why I should lose my grip and fall. See, I'm not an evil man. I have not done anything that will qualify as a vulnerable act. I'm not a bad person. I never said that you are. I only asked you not to cross the line. Go. Is there something you're hiding from us? I think the young man has a lot to tell us. Listen, if I were you, I would have opened up the very minute my woman pleaded with me that I was up against the priest of a kingdom as elevated as you go the kingdom. I am still surprised you continue to lie.
If you're not from Musoka, then, then where are you from? wife gave birth to a male child who eventually died. He was killed by wild animals. No, no, no. I knew it. I knew it. The resemblance. So striking. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a very big story looming in the air, waiting to burst all over us. And I doubt we can carry the weight standing. Why don't you begin by introducing yourself to us, son? My name is. I should have put two and two together. You're right, mother. My name is Obina Ugubuzwe Anya Chebele. That is exactly his name. So why do you bear the middle name instead of the first? It's a very long story. A very, very long story. Well, uh, as you can see, we are all seated and we have all day. As you all now know, I was not killed by any white animal. It's Vincent, my brother, who tried to kill me. What? What? Obegeli, is it you trying to defend your son that is incapable of killing anyone. Tell, because if it is, then you... you tell us everything. It all started when we were growing up. My brother Vincent did not understand the concept of brotherly love. Obina! I've already eaten the better part of it. Ah, why will you do that? That's who you want to have. Anyway, give me another step. Oh! Oh! Why will you do that? It's very simple. Every Sense. day I wake up and see you, I feel like killing myself. Really? See, you Hi. never amount to anything. You did that it. At first, I thought it was childish attitude. Until my brother Vincent showed me the other side of him. Why? Why the police did what on me? There Why? is no peace for a wicked person, especially one who refused to accept the fact that you have no place in this family. There were times I couldn't explain it. I thought it was a main jealousy because you were your father's favorite. I know I gave birth to a stubborn son. So I, di I didn't bother. 
didn't pay attention to it because I know your father loved you both. You're right, mother. Jealousy. Jealousy was never a word with which described Vincent. At least, not after the day he finally showed me the stuff he was made of. It happened after the water incident. I told my father that I wanted to leave the house. You did that? Yes. My mother was dead. And my brother, who I love so much, was treating me like a slave. I needed peace. I thought to myself I need to go to my mother's place so I can stay there and have my own peace. I treated you well. I treated you like my own child. Yes, you did, mother. But your son's behavior towards me made me doubt the love you have for me sometimes. Because my father discouraged me, making me to understand that I miss her. And Vincent overheard everything. And suddenly one day, he came to me and apologized for everything he has done to me. It was so strange. But then he made me realize how deadly my brother could be. What happened next was what changed the course of everything. I know you're less busy today. And I also know that you can help me learn it well. What do you want to learn? I want to learn how to catch all these small, small rodents sneaking in the bush. So I'll be eating it every day. You're the son of Oba. You have enough meat here. Ah. You can't finish them. And you don't need the knowledge. You're also the son of the Oba. You have the knowledge. Please teach me. I'm begging you. No problem. If you're ready, we can go. I will teach you. Really? Yes. Thank you so much. No, you can share, you can share. No, 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 no. Mama said it's for only. No, let's take share, let's share. Mama said you should eat it. Okay, thank you. Not bad, man. Ah. Ah. 
Oh, you help. Ah. Idiot. I see you're very mad at him. For your mind, you're not my elder. Oh. You see me for your mind. Oh, Idiot. Yeah. She don't even call my name. Help me, please. Me, the, the worst part is that your presence in my family has made me an outcast. Oh. And that's not right, oh, though. Yeah. Help See, me. my parents gave birth to me and only me. Why you, on the other hand, belong to a dead woman? Oh, yeah, help me. Oh, you don't, do. yeah, don't call my name. Don't call my name. Don't, don't call oh, my yeah. name. Oh, yeah, help me. Oh, yeah, don't call me. Chief, oh, yeah. I should help you. Let me tell you, I'm already helping you by reuniting you with your mother. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Go and meet your mother in the land of the dead. Oh, you please help me. Why are you? Oh, you please, oh, you don't go. Oh, you. Ah. Ah. How could I not know? He came home that day acting strange. When the day ended, your father and I became worried. When we asked him about you, he denied knowing your whereabouts. Uh, well, uh, Obi, I knew it. I knew it from the very beginning that that your son, you better, is a monster who is capable of doing everything and anything. We couldn't find you. We decided to send a search party. I guess he suspected something and then came up with a plan. Yeah, 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 Vincent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? Why are you crying? <laughs> On my way home, I saw my brother's remain. And he was devoured by a wild animal. Chimu! Oh. Did you tell your parents? No, I was just on my way to go and tell them. Hey! My yeah. brother! <laughs> oh. Help! I was when we concluded that you were dead. That you must have been killed by a wild animal. I will tell you what he did. He went back to the bush where he kept my body. When he got there, my body was no longer there. He had to come up with a story that I was killed by a white animal. <clears throat> Everybody had no choice but to believe him. Exactly. Eh? We believed that he was actually devoured by the white animal. Mm. Mm. Uncle, why didn't you tell me all this? Did you have to hurt me just to protect your secret? No, my love. When I left the kingdom that day, I vowed never to return. I had this strong feeling that my life will always be in danger. Vincent, my brother is evil, so I have to keep my distance. But that has changed now. All that has changed. Says who? I don't feel safe here. I only came back here because of the woman I love. This is your land. This is your home. Not anymore, mother. That's all right. I think you can go. That is not fair. Why not? That's what the young man wants. So, uh, are you serious? I can, I can go? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can It's all gone. You are free. 
As you can see, it, it's all gone. You are free. No, that is not fair, Wifi. But that's what the young man wants. Are you serious I can go? Uh, well, but before you go, I have something that belongs to you. Babuji, come on, stand with me. After the death of your father, you also lost our kingdom. The Gobe Kingdom became in desperate need of an order. Because you cannot crown a king without an order. According to tradition, Obaludike will your brother was supposed to take over the position from your father. But the gods of our ancestors rejected him. <laughs> they rejected him completely. We kept wondering why. Now we know why. Initially, I did not know why. But when I looked closely, and each time I spoke to the gods, they always asked me to be patient. And when I looked closely at your brother, I discovered a very dark aura about him. That was when I knew for sure that he was never going to be the upper of the uh, Not only he will, he, will he never be the upper, based on the atrocity he has committed in this land, mm. We will not make it possible for him to become. In fact, not, we are no longer talking about the upper. He cannot be the upper. But he will not even be able to become ordinary a chief in this kingdom. Yes. Then, another person. Yes. 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 This is for you. Take it. What is this? This is the same horn your father used as a symbol of authority when he was over. It is now yours. Do not say anything, my son. This is something that belongs to your father. Something my son Vincent wanted all his life. Mm -hmm. Now, you have it. Do not turn it down. You can either continue running or stay back and face your fears head on. Say. But the look on your face says otherwise. Hello, little brother. What did you just call me? So, even by looking at his face, you did not see anything familiar. Why would I? Yeah, yeah, the child is just, just a disgrace to the father and the family. So, so glaring. What did you just say? Swear you didn't hear it. Swear. No! Wait. It can't be. Yes! And yes! You are supposed. 
to be dead. I. You what? Dear brother. You what? Don't come close to me. Why? You are faint. Are you a ghost? Can somebody tell me what's going on here? Question for the gods. You tried to kill your brother, but failed woefully. Now he is back to claim his rightful position as the upper of Fukumekinam. Now! You lie! I am the only Oba of Ugume Kingdom! Not even you or anyone else can stop me! I have it. And I'm about to stay! That is supposed to be mine. You are indeed an extremely foolish man. How dare you? You cannot rob me of my birthright! That will be over my dead body! Ah! Ah! Calm down, woman. Calm down. He is not dead. It clearly now. He's sweating all over him. When he wakes up, he will wish that he is. He killed your husband. Do you know that? What? Oh, yeah, I can do it. You Hmm. 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 And for all that, he will wish for death and death to be very far from him. For killing the Oba of Ugume Kingdom, he will suffer. And he will suffer the agony of loneliness. Anyone who elects to associate with him, to heal him of his loneliness, will become a partaker of the verdict of the gods. You say... You will not come.
According to order of nature, people must die before they transit. But in your own case, even the ground on which you reside has rejected you. Mama! Mama! Mama, please help me! For I now have an answer for the question you'll be asking. What? Can you come and sit down? Is this a game or something? Because sincerely, I have a very important place to go to. Hey, listen. You see? All this while, the gods have been playing a kind of game on all of us. Fortunately, the game has come to an end and all of us won. Ichi, what are you talking about? Because I don't get anything from what you just said. Can you come and sit? <laughs> so does it mean I'll be for you? What do you think? Mm, I think... Uh... At least I'm holding your hands for a while now. You not asked me to leave your hand, you've not complained. And secondly, you've not asked me to play, please, leave, leave my ass, leave my ass. Oh, mm. thank you. If you wouldn't. <laughs> I see you have told him. Yes, I did. I'm indeed shocked. We are all still shocked. Ah, uh, all the same, I have come to apologize, Obuifi, for all the things I said to you. But I didn't blame you for anything. Now I feel relieved, but. At the same time, I feel that a heavy burden has been placed on my shoulder. Ah. You are not alone. Never alone. Ichi. Yeah. Let's go inside. Oh, hey, hey, hey. You know, you know. Just go my own. If it is, I don't want to wake up from it. Fortunately, it's not. It is reality and it's happening. That's why I called you both as my closest friends to let you know. <laughs> I am still screaming and I will continue to scream this whole village down. Hey! <laughs> hey, Castle Boom. Hey! <laughs> How are you? Oh, good. I'm fine. I gathered your ex-girlfriend wanted to commit suicide. Oh yes, I was told. But she was talked out of it. But she doesn't have any reason to. Especially now. 
that she has another son who is decent and accepted by all. And now he has become the new Oba. I am so happy for her. Same here. So that brings me to the topic. Now that her family is very relevant again, would you consider accepting her apology? That's if she apologizes. Maybe. Would you? Maybe. What the hell? Okay. Is that how to welcome your wife home? And you? Your stay in this house expires today. <laughs> I told you to walk. I never believed you. Imagine how crazy it sounds of my daughter acting like my wife. <laughs> you know what I just realized, Uncle? You just do not know more about women. I wonder how she will feel if she will reveal the whole thing to her. Well, let's find out. Anyway, contrary to what we told you earlier, she's my daughter, my younger brother's daughter. So she's my niece. I'm her uncle. You're her uncle? <laughs> she's your niece? <laughs> What game is this? You lied to me. You left me with no other option. Where you did what you did. I have missed you. <laughs> I have missed you. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Your staff of office. When I gave out this invitation today, I told you I was going to kill two birds with one stone. You did say that, mm -hmm. but we are wondering what you mean. I invited you all here, not just to meet your Oba, but also to meet your king. I'm sorry, Obuefi, but I'm not sure we heard you correctly. You did? Obuzu, over to you. People of Ugume Kingdom, Quen! Yeah! People of Ugume Kingdom, Quen! Yeah! People of Ugume Kingdom, Quen Zono! <laughs> it is my great pleasure to introduce to you your king today. When is it? Neil. Ha <laughs> Eh? Come on. Who will be?
People of Ugume Kingdom. Here we are. Here we are. Here we Behold! Behold your king! I called you both here because I have lost everything. I need you two to help me. Take me to another town. This kingdom is no longer conducive for me. I know when I go to another town, the pain will vanish. You are never going to leave this town, for you deserve every pain you are facing today. Remember the money I gave to you too. Remember all the good things I have done for you to remember them. Please. I need you two to help me. We can do that. You killed your only father after killing his son. But the bastard did not die. He did not die. He came back here to steal my offer. <clears throat> that is why I need to leave. So I can plan and come back. Please. Your babe is now married to the Oba. And your mother is now married to the one she loves. So you are all alone here. And you will discover what it means to die lonely. Oh yes. You planned on killing everyone so that you could be alone. Well, you are finally alone. Enjoy your loneliness. So this is how I am going to die alone in Agani. What a sad end. <laughs> what a sad end.
about